Today on the Fresh Brew Run Club, I'm answering the question, do your running shoes need rest? Welcome to the Fresh Brew Run Club. Today's video, I am talking rest. No, I'm not talking about the kind of rest that you should be getting after a long run, you know, recovery, making sure your body is well rested. I am talking about rest specifically when it comes to your running shoes. So for the longest time, I had heard from other people and I believed myself that your running shoes need to have rest. So if you run on Monday, you should rotate a different pair of shoes in on Tuesday to give your initial shoes time to rest so that that foam can spring back to life and be fully ready for you to run in those shoes on Wednesday. Now, I've just never really questioned this. I've always believed it. I've seen running shoe brands talk about this as well. So I said, hey, must be true. Well, I recently saw some information that said, you know what, that might not actually be true. So I did a little digging and that's what this video is all about today. So let me just jump right into it. No, your running shoes do not need 24 to 48 hours of beauty rest in order for them to perform. And in the words of LeVar Burton in Reading Rainbow, don't just take my word for it. Let's look at what the stuff Say. So I found a study from three guys, Stephen Cook, Marcus Kester, and Michael Burnett at Tulane University that tried to answer this exact question. Now, this study came out in 1985. I will link the study below. Now it is behind a paywall, so I will also link a great article from Runners Connect written by John Davis that does an excellent job of summarizing the information that I'm gonna talk about. So I'll link both those things. You can check them out for yourself. So John Davis summarizes the study by saying those three guys at Tulane University showed that even after a 24 or 48 hour rest period, the cushioning of a shoe showed no evidence of recovery following a simulated run on a mechanical impact testing machine. So essentially there is no required recovery. I did a little more digging of like, what exactly does this mean? I found some more information, some of it anecdotal, some of it sourced based on this study that basically said, look, your running shoes really only need recovery time for the amount of time that you ran. So if you run for about an hour, it's only going to take the foam in your running shoes an hour to actually recover. Now this foam we're talking about is EVA foam, which is ethylene vinyl acetate foam. And that is the most common material in running shoes and running shoe midsoles. So this has been pretty standard for quite some time and still is the standard. There is a pretty good chance that your running shoe has EVA foam in it. Now the study goes on to say that a shoe's cushioning properties do decline significantly over the course of the lifespan of the shoe. But I think that makes sense. If you run 300 miles in a shoe, it's not going to perform the same way as it did for the first 50 miles, right? That's totally different. I'm not really talking about that. Obviously a shoe is going to break down, but you don't need to rest your shoes for 24 to 48 hours and risk, you know, them not being able to perform in the way that you want them to. If they're old shoes, they're not going to do well. Now, let me throw in a little nuance here. You may not need to rest your shoes for 24 hours. However, a shoe rotation is actually beneficial. So a study in the Scandinavian Journal of Medicine and Science in Sports took a look at that exact question. So they had a group of runners that wore one shoe over the course of the study and a group of runners that wore multiple shoes, like a shoe rotation over the course of the study. So they found that the runners that had multiple Multiple shoes reduce their injury risk by 39%, which is pretty significant. So this makes sense. If you run in different pairs of shoes, you are engaging different muscles with each shoe and then also resting certain muscles with each shoe. So it gives you a lot of variety, which helps to rest and also helps to build durability, which is going to help prevent injuries in the long run. So it's not necessary to give your shoes 24 to 48 hours of time to recover, but rotating your running shoes will help to prevent injuries. Now, it's not a guarantee that you're gonna go injury free if you have 10 different pairs of shoes that you're rotating through, but it can help. So you know what? Why not try it? I made a video about my running shoe rotation for this current marathon training block. So check that out. I will link that in the description below and you can see kind of what I'm working with, my thoughts on different types of shoes that you might need for a marathon training block. So let me know what you think. Do you have a shoe rotation? Had you heard that you need to give your shoes 24 hours of rest at a minimum before you can run in them again? I did. I have believed that for 33 years of my life until recently recently. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions. Happy to answer anything. But that is today's video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you soon.